So this is a good time for businesses to dig in. It's a time to focus the strategy on the long run, which means that whilst you know these shocks are hitting you, it's also time to retreat and think about how to cocoon yourself for long run growth, which means that actually you inve invest a lot more in the future. Most businesses are retreating from investments in the future. This is actually the time to invest in the future because when the growth starts to happen, you would have had the capacity to actually build on that or you would be left behind. Uh, so this is a time for businesses to strategize, to think more carefully about which countries they should have and which locations their supply chain should be in. Uh, think about future sources of financing and also about whether the current markets they serve are the go-to markets in the future or whether they need to segmentize and you know do marketing in a very different way. Uh, all in all, it's about it's really about transformation. So the estimates are that you know coronavirus will hit us yes in the next quarter, but maybe two quarters from now you know it should have been contained. Uh, these are you know at best guesstimates, uh, but it's not that you know the world has not been hit by these types of events in the past. Uh, it's just that when green shoots had started to appear, you know, this is a setback. Uh, I'm sure this is not something that uh, should bother businesses which are focused on the long term. It, it, these are short term adverse times, uh, which will, you know, definitely roll back. You take any of the businesses which have been there in the last 20 years, all of them have great crisis management strategies. Uh, mostly the way they would do it is to actually make sure teams are diverse. People with different backgrounds, different views from different geographies work together. Businesses have always done it that way and not just focused on one aspect of the business, whether it's the finance or the supply chain or the market.